Good morning guys, today is Wednesday, May 13th, and today's video is just gonna be another day in the life. Wednesdays are actually the only days that I don't have Zoom meetings with anyone, so we're just gonna be productive, stay busy, see what the day takes us. First things first, I have to move my bed back to my bedroom because yesterday after I got done with Zoom meetings and Alice got done with work, we decided let's have a sleepover day, move the mattress to the living room, and just watch TV all day and be lazy. So we did, and it was amazing. But now this thing's just in the way and I gotta move back to the bedroom. Then let's go rollerblading. And the main thing I wanna do today, I know I'm a little late in the game, but I really wanna do that flat teacher activity. I feel like my kids would just love it and that's exactly what we need right now. So that's my main thing I wanna do today. So let's go ahead and get started. The face wash that I'm mostly using these days are the Neutrogena one, uh, grapefruit oil-free acne wash. Then since I'm gonna go rollerblading right now, I'm gonna put on this mineral sunscreen by Open Nature. Okay, so bike path is a no. I just pulled up, not that busy, but there's a crazy old man sitting in his car yelling at people and started yelling at me as soon as I drove up. So just flipped that U and got out of there. No, go somewhere else to yell at people. Let me do my thing, my drone business. All right, well, fancy neighborhoods it is. So I don't necessarily go in the neighborhoods, I drive around them. So I don't know what I did, but I hurt the back of my knee to where I can't do the workouts at home that I normally do, like the burpees and mountain climbers and all that. So that's kind of why I've been rollerblading more is to get that cardio in. <sighs> okay, been going for a while. So I figured if I at least rollerblade, I'm getting some cardio and my legs are getting some sort of tone. Man, blading and talking is an additional workout. <laughs> so I've basically been rollerblading five to six miles at least three days a week. Um, when I'm feeling super ambitious, I do seven, but then I need a nap afterwards. So <laughs> I don't know how productive that really is. But yeah, so today I probably do about five or six, the usual. Okay, I just hit mile four. Ah, this has just been four miles one direction. I probably should have turned around. The universe knows I have, I'm hitting a dead end. So <laughs> I'll have to turn around or at least head the direction that I think is home. <laughs> Okay, so I just came up to this stop sign, way too hot. <laughs> and I grabbed the stop sign in order to help myself stop, because I'll normally like stop to push the button. But I went and grabbed it to help myself stop, and it was not in the ground all the way. The thing was like shaking. Oh, I hope the people in the intersection got a good laugh, because I sure did. I saw my life flash before my eyes. <laughs> okay, we did it, eight miles. I gotta be real, I did not think that was gonna happen. I honestly thought I was gonna go four and be like, uh, and then make it to five and call it good. Man, it just felt way too good outside. My rollerblades are stuck. The sun was feeling right. Man, I feel good. I feel like I'm ready to start my day. And I'm glad it went a little farther because man, for Mother's Day, I did not eat good, let me tell you. And if you didn't see, uh, I'm wearing my Fabletics shorts. Super comfy. I am wearing this sports bra from Fabletics as well. And this shirt though is from Victoria's Secret Sport and I really like the back. I Guys, I was doing so well at keeping my kitchen clean and then I lost it. I don't know where along the lines I lost it, but I lost it. So although this is embarrassing, I figured I'm not the only one with a messy kitchen. So I'm gonna clean this up, then I'll clean this up and we'll get started on the rest of our day. is clean so now I'm gonna shower and then probably make some lunch okay so I don't know where all my scrunchies went this is not what's going to happen today this is just temporary if you've been following me on Instagram you know I've been trying to oil train my hair this is only day two so I showered and washed it yesterday so this is day two and I just went rollerblading so it's nice it's sweaty now just because I showered and washed my hair yesterday does not mean that I don't shower today so I still showered I just like put my hair up and then like body wash face wash and stuff like that and if you follow elementary in the mitten you'll see that she kind of does the same thing but she actually has a super adorable unicorn shower cap I need one I don't even care if it's a unicorn as long as it's a fun animal I'm with it the unicorn shower cap it just makes it so much more 
fun and I need that in my life so maybe later on Amazon we'll go check out some shower caps but anyway so I'm just kind of putting it up for now to let it kind of dry and whatnot might spray it with dry shampoo but I try not to use it the second day I had a poll that was saying which mascara we thought was better. So it was versus the Dime Mascara, $46 that I got in Cosbox, and Maybelline Last Sensational. This is $12 at Friday. So the votes were in, and that was probably the most votes I've ever gotten on an Instagram story. And hands down, Last Sensational. So this Dime one, it worked really well the first week or two, but then it just started to look and feel like cheap mascara, and I was not about it. Don't really like it. So. That can go away. And I'm going to keep using my Lash Sensational for Maybelline that I've been using for like ever. So again, this is $12 from like Rite Aid, Target, pretty much anywhere. This isn't even a new bottle and it outdid the dime one. So, all right, mascara. Oh yeah. Oils be gone. Okay. <coughs> It's a little crazy, but to be honest, I think it looks fine. All right, so I'm getting kind of hungry. Let's go make some lunch. So for lunch today, I'm just going to steam some bell peppers and put some ground beef in them. Side note, I absolutely despise my stove and I try to never use it. So I'm gonna use my rice cooker to steam these. I'm gonna use my electric wok to cook the ground beef. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna look on Teachers Pay Teachers real quick and decide what flat teacher template I wanna use. Okay, so timer went off, gonna take out those peppers. The rest from the wash. Ah. For me, this is always a super simple, easy lunch. So yeah, let's eat. I think my boyfriend might be coming home early today. So we'll see how much we get done. I've been waiting all my life for something. I've been down the darkest roads and up in the clouds. But I've always felt that something's missing. That was until I found you right there in the crowd. You came into my life and started a fire. It made me feel like I could touch the sky. Oh, there's nothing missing now that you're my All right, so this template I got from Elementary in the Mitten, and I had my Bitmoji and my name, and then on the back, I actually transcribed it and put it in Spanish. And for my Bitmoji, here we go. And I busted out my laminator, except for 
I'm all out of laminating sheets, of course. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to go pick some of those up and then I can laminate my people. But for now, I think that's about all I can do. So I guess this is gonna be a two day vlog. <laughs> but I'm gonna turn off for the night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Happy Thursday. I'm just eating my oatmeal and then ordered laminating sheets. So luckily Michaels has the same day pickup. Hopefully that is actually same day. Um, I've had a couple rough times in the past, but hopefully same day. <laughs> so once I get those, I can officially wrap up the flat teacher project. I'm so excited guys. Well, I've been up messing around since like 7.30. It is now nine o'clock. I have a meeting with my admin and the other teachers this morning. And then at noon, I have an Instagram live with Joe Tree at Joe Triwartha. Sorry if I totally annihilated that name. She also has her own podcast, Teacher Tire. So go ahead and check that out. And yeah, so probably gonna work on this for a little bit and then get ready a bit. All right, so I just got ready real quick. I just ended up throwing the top half of my hair up, straightened the wave pieces that were going on, topped off with some concealer, refreshed mascara, good to go. Okay, so I gotta join that meeting and then I will translate the flat teacher adventure into Spanish. All right, so I just got done with my meeting and I actually showed them the flat teacher thing that I'm doing and they loved it. So they're gonna send me their bitmojis and I'm going to make them for all my teachers too. <laughs> all right, so I'm done with the Spanish version. I'm going to print that out on the back of the English ones and we'll be good. All right, so I'm getting ready to go on Instagram Live with Joe. I'm so excited. Nervous excited a little bit. Never done this before. Never even talked to her before. She's live. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this question because I think we all have different responses. If you were talking to someone who had no idea what we do, like they just know we're a teacher and that's all they know, how would you describe teaching to them? It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it is like you are trying to ignite and grow all these little fires, but, but you don't want them to become too big. So you're trying to constantly put them out a little bit. You don't want them becoming one. You want them to each be their own little fires and you get to make s'mores on them. It's like, there's the yeah. beauty of that, like, you know, but that's what it's like. It's like, you like the fire. You're trying to keep everyone ignited. You want to see their flame go. But at the same time, it's like, you don't want to be getting too crazy. Cause you're like, okay, kind of put out your fire a little bit, you know? <laughs> oh my God, I love that. I love that analogy. I think that's so true. I like, I always tell people it's organized chaos without the yeah. organized. Like you're, you're like, you're trying to yeah. be organized, um, but yeah. it's never organized. Some um, days are more organized than others, but yeah, it's just controlled chaos. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, like, you're just, I you're feel, just containing it and controlling yes. it. We're just trying to contain, we're just trying to keep everyone alive. Um, and uh -huh. then at the end of the day, we're supposed to teach them something. Like that's, that's yeah. kind of <laughs> how I describe it. Guys, that was so much fun. I think I love Instagram Live. We were on there for an hour. We're only supposed to be on there for 30 minutes. We talked for an hour and could have kept going, but Instagram Live kicked us off. <laughs> oh my gosh, have you guys ever done Instagram Live or like watched someone? Is that something you're into? Cause I'm thinking about doing it more. That was so much fun. <sighs> okay. Oh, I also got an email from a student saying that they needed help with day 13 math in our packet. This is one of those things that make distance learning so hard because we email, but She's in third grade. She doesn't quite know how it works, so her emails she'll send me are all on the subject. <laughs> so cute. But it's so hard whenever we're trying to communicate. Like I haven't been able to speak with her on Zoom. Now she needs help and I'm trying to get her on Zoom or Google Meet and it's just not working for whatever reason. And it just breaks my heart because I just want to be there to help, you know? So so I'm just going to do a screen recording of me walking through the day 13 packet. Um, I like to use this website called Cami, and it allows me to open up a Google Docs or in the Google Drives and I can just highlight right over it, make little notes, solve the problem. So I'll put it in the video here. Michael's order, finally those laminating sheets because man, I thought I had some yesterday and I didn't. Of course I was all out. And I only need seven to complete the flat teacher so I needed to buy some more. Office Depot's trying to sell some for like 40 bucks. I was like, excuse me, I'm going, okay? 
no thank you. I will wait until I can order some on Amazon for like 10 bucks. Okay, so got my laminating sheets, but also picked up the mail. And I totally forgot that I ordered a Fabletics tank top. So here's the tank top I ordered, just says California muscle tank. <laughs> but it's super soft. It was originally $35 and I got it for 12. So new favorite tank top and I'm gonna be wearing this for the rest of the day. But that being said, we're going to move into our Bitmoji laminating and cutting phase. So this is probably gonna take the longest. Um, I also have a meeting with my mentor in about 30 minutes. So you might get to watch that while I laminate and cut. Go time. Hold up, girl, I feel you. Oh, that's so cute. I feel this so much. I feel like it's gonna get me all emotional. I'm sorry, I hope you're feeling better. I've been there, girl, I've been there. And if you're a teacher and feeling a breakdown coming on, you are not alone, we have all been there multiple times during this quarantine and my heart goes out to you okay so now i'm logging into my meeting with my mentor i have the most amazing mentor of all mentors i've said that before but i mean it hi hi oh. open it and they pull it out they're gonna see flat miss Blair and then as soon as they open it they see me and they'll have their adventures all done finally finished all 27 and I'm so excited to give it to them and to be honest I'm more excited to give it to them in person than just mailing it and hoping that they got it you know so I would much rather give it to the ones that I can in person and then if I have to mail some off then I definitely will in fact, I have one student that's moving, so I have to find out where his new address is because I really want him to still have one. All right, so that's all I have for you. Thanks for joining me on a day in a life. Well, two days in a life. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. <sighs> guys, next week I have to clean up my classroom. So that's what next week's video is going to be. It's going to be an emotional week next week. I'll try to film as much as I can and share with you guys, but just a heads up, it's probably gonna be a tad emotional. <sighs> well, I'll see you next week, rain or shine.